hereby gives you instructions about the MB500 tank shower. This model right here is the MB500 with a water tank with a content of 350 liters. There isn't a big difference with other models. We have standard A350 liters, 800 liters, 1000 liters, 1250 liters, 1500 liters, 1600 liters and 2200 liters in our program. If you need another capacity, then that's always negotiable. The biggest difference between the smaller and the larger models is the size. The size of a MB500 is about 1 by 1 meter. Larger models up to 2200 liters are 1 meter 30 by 1 meter 30. The 2200 liters version is a little bigger, 1 meter 80 by 1 meter 80. The height of a tank shower is about 4 meters, sometimes even bigger. The lid must be able to take an off. So you have to keep in mind that you cannot place a tank shower everywhere. In areas like the Netherlands, the tank shower is usually equipped with a heater. It is situated here behind the ceiling. It warms the water that is delivered to the body shower and eye bath. For hot areas, we can do it differently. Instead of warming the water, we can cool the water. We do this with a so-called chiller. That will cool the water, so you will have water with a pleasant temperature for both the body shower and eye bath. The unit is standard suitable for normal zone, but there are also various explosion flameproof ATEX versions available. So the whole desired implementation is available to your needs. Various options are possible. The base of the tank shower starts with a base implementation. What do we mean with a base implementation? This is the water tank with the body shower. The frame, the push bar, also the signs who are attached are standard implemented. The options that are not standard implemented but which you can see in this video are the three side panels, the eye bath, the panel type foot control, the light, the thermometer and the level indicator. So these are the extra options you can optionally order. If the tank shower arrives, it will be delivered on a pallet. It lies on this side. That is because most of the time nothing is attached to this side. It lies on the left side. We applied an opening to the right side. You cannot see this right now, but it is situated at this level. There's also a cap situated on it. You can remove this cap and then apply a lifting loop. With the screw thread, you can screw the lifting loop in the opening until it is completely fully screwed. Then you can straighten the tank shower so that it is standing on four legs. At that moment, you have access to the connection point on the left side. It has the same lifting connection with a cap applied on it, in which you can screw the lifting loop. Then you have both at the left and the right side a lifting loop which you can use to lift the unit and place it where you would want it. You can unscrew the lifting loop on the same way. After that you can place the cap back. Next all the connections are made. This is the connection between the water tank and the shower head. The connection to the water tank and the eye buff is also realized. The control rods are all installed. The only thing you will have to do is to make a connection at the side where the water flows in. That is situated at the top of the back. You can find it here. This is a 28 ml compression coupling, a 1 inch pipe thread or a flange connection. Various connections are possible. The tank shower can be connected to the fixed water connection, but that is not necessary. If the reservoir is filled, then the tank shower is operational. If the tank shower is connected to a fixed water supply connection, the reservoir will be automatically filled. Otherwise, this action has to be done manually by, for example, a water trailer. Optionally, we can deliver a fill pipe for simple filling. The electrical junction box is situated here. There you can connect the electricity. Pay attention, we have here this fixation, but these days we have a fixation with four base plates. Each leg will have a base plate with two holes. With this, the unit can be attached to the ground. It has to be placed on a smooth, flat surface in order to firmly place the unit. If the unit is placed physically and connected where the water flows in and electrically connected, then the unit is ready for use.
The difference between a tank shower and a normal shower is that the water tank has to be filled with water before the body shower or eye bath can give water. In order to give one water, a little time will pass. It also depends on the power of the heater that we apply. With the MB500, that will be a 1 kW heater. The larger versions will standard have a 3 kW heater. Again, it can be changed if it needs to be different. So if the water tank is filled with water and heated to the right temperature, then the tank shower will be operational. It is frost protected so it can be placed outside, so you will not have to be concerned about this point. The pipelines who run here internally to the shower head and the eye bath will run dry after use and will be empty, so no water remains. It drains away so it cannot freeze. The tank shower can be extended with various options, I will name a couple of them. What you can see here are the three panels, two side panels and one back panel that you can take. The eye bath. It is a commonly used product option you can buy. The eye bath has a hinge lid system. If you push the lid to the back, it automatically activates the eye bath and the water will flow immediately. Inside the lid, a mirror is situated. If you have an injury, you can view how bad the injury is. If you close the lid, the eye bath will stop automatically. In this case, the eye bath is situated on the right. But on request, it can be situated on the left or inside the cabin itself. That is not the case with the 350 liters MB500, but it is possible with larger units because the cabin is also larger, which optionally allows placing the eye bath inside the cabin. The panel type foot control is also an option. Currently not present, but available as an option, is a drain sump. With that, all the water will be captured and can be drained off with the drain connection. The drain of the eye bath will also lead to the drain sump. A couple of other options are the light, which makes the unit noticeable and visible for anyone. A thermometer with which you can read the temperature of the water that is present in the tank. We also have a level indicator. And with that, you can very easily check from a distance if the tank is filled or empty. You can check if the tank needs to be replenished or if there are any problems or things like that. Then there are a number of other options. There is a proximity switch to realize a signal. PVC strip screens can be placed in front of the unit to act as a windbreaker, so that when you are in the cabin, you are protected against the wind. Electrical alarms are possible. We have various antibacterial growth systems. There can be an automatic dump, which can periodically drain about 10% per day and can automatically replenish. We also have a regenerating filter. We have liquids, we have powders, all to make the water resistant to bacterial growth. There are a lot of extra options possible, which we can elaborate on request. At the side you will see a test handle. If the eye buff is on the left, the test handle will be placed on the left side. With the test handle, you can test if the body shower operates normally, without the need to stand in the cabin. When you step up the panel type foot control, or use the red test handle, then that will operate the body shower, just what you prefer. Of course, the body shower can be reset. The eye bath is activated by pulling the lid to the back. Then the water will begin to flow. If the lid is pushed back and is closed, the eye bath will stop automatically. The control is situated behind the ceiling. Pay attention to the fact that if we activate the eye bath on a frosty winter day, we have to be sure that the pipeline is fully drained. We made this very easy. We made a little piece of transparent pipeline with which you can easily see if there is still water present. Naturally, if the pipeline is empty, you can just walk away, nothing will happen with the eye buff because there isn't any water left in the pipeline. Antibacterial growth systems. We have a tank shower here with stagnant water and also water that is kept on a specific temperature. It can be a source of bacterial growth. We have various methods to solve this. If the tank shower is connected to a fixed water connection, then we have the possibility for an automatic dump. 
It can be placed in the water tank and it will drain about 10% and after that it will replenish 10% of the content. After that the cycle continues. By refreshment of the water you can stop bacterial growth. Another option is a regenerating filter. That is this filter cartridge. In this cartridge there are ceramic balls applied. Ceramic balls are impregnated with a treatment substance that spreads out in the water gradually. With a regenerating filter, it does not matter how many times you empty the reservoir. The regenerating filter stays operational for at least one year. In real life, a little longer. But one year is what we guarantee. Another possibility is a powder or a liquid that is delivered in a flask that you can apply to the water. So, this can have a powder form or liquid form. In contrast with the regenerating filter, if you drain water from the tank, pay attention to the fact that you have to refill the tank, but also have to refill the powder or the liquid. You don't know how much water is extracted exactly, so you have to estimate the concentration of the new powder or liquid and of course the new water that must be added. So practically speaking, the regenerating filter or the automatic dump is easier to use than the powder or the liquid, but the powder and liquid are cheaper. To easily apply an antibacterial growth system, we have a lid pass through system, which we can apply to the roof of the tank shower. This system is directly connected to the tank above the tank. What you can see is a screw cap, which you can very easily unscrew, which results in an opening in the water tank. You can apply the regenerating filter through this opening. It ends up in a water tank. Naturally, the old filter can be taken out on the same but contrary manner. If you choose a powder or liquid, then you can also apply this through the lid pass through system without removing the lid. So this is a lot easier to do. Afterwards, you have to screw the screw cap again. The unit is then ready for use again. If there are any specific wishes or demands, those can be discussed. This was the explanation of the MB500 and or other tank shower models. If you have any questions, then we would like to hear this from you. Thank you for your attention.